KCSE. KCP alone had close to 1.4 million candidates. The steps you outlined below are critical. One, the circumstances under which the printing of the exams was transferred from the UK to Mombasa Road must be investigated. Two, Kenyans must be told how the integrity of the exams was secured during the transfer from the UK to Mombasa Road and later to another printer in Asia. Three, it is the right of Kenyans to know the cost of termination of the contract the UK firm. Four, Kenyans must be informed of how the Mombasa Road firm was identified and awarded the tender and if procurement laws were followed. Five, Kenyans must also be informed of how the firm to relay KCP results was identified, whether it is uh, the, same, the same one that will relay the KCC results and all the procurement laws were adhered to. Going by the fate of Auditor General Margaret Nakano, we believe political interference will not allow ESCC and DCI to deal with this matter. But to put this issue to the agencies as a matter of public record, and the warning must go out there that in another era, all will be held accountable including these criminals. It is our position that the stakeholders together, headed by the Catholic Church or any other group that stakeholders can agree on and get to the bottom of the mess building up in our exam management. There must be no room for federalism in conduct and marking of exams, whose where some schools and students are allowed to, to cheat and get away with it, as happened in last year's KCSE and this year's KCPE. Sanity, integrity, and dignity must return to exams. The back stops with His Excellency, Mr. William Ruto. It is our firm belief that mega corruption in billions cannot happen without the complicity of the top. Whether it is 17 billion shilling in oils or billions involved in the person as cooking oil, we know the dynamics of how government operates. The CEOs, the peers are small fries. The buck stops with Mr. Ruto. End of statement. Please.